Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, we were in Greenfield last night in the soup station, and we're here again this evening, but inside tonight. And it's good to welcome you. Mr. Martin Bell is with us. Martin is the organist of St. Catherine's in Gossainen, and he is also the organist in our local crematorium. Martin and I have done a few of these in the past, and we've come together tonight in Greenfield. I hope that you'll have a blessing as we come together to share in the lovely Advent messages which we share together at this time of year. Welcome, Martin. It is good to have you with us. Now, I'm sure we all know the hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem, How Still We See Thee Lie. Uh, Martin is going to play it, and I'm going to sing it. But you're going to sing along as well, because he's going to put the words up as well for you to, for you to sing along. We're just going to sing two verses of O Little Town of Bethlehem, How Still We See Thee Lie. <laughs> I'm sure you sung that well. O little town of Bethlehem. Bethlehem was a village. It was a town that was full of promise. It had an important part to play in God's plan. It was, of course, called the city of David, for the, from the city of David, David, the shepherd boy who was called to be the king of a nation. And, of course, Micah says that the little town of Bethlehem was the least among the cities, and yet... It was part of God's ordained plan. God made his promises to the people of old that in the fullness of time the Saviour would come from the line of Jesse, the line of David. And that was fulfilled that first Christmas when Jesus was born. So God kept his promises to his people. A Messiah would come, the one who would fulfill all righteousness. Do you know, dear friends, God keeps his promises we live in a world where perhaps politicians don't keep the promises they make when they seek election. We look around and we see that so many promises are not fulfilled. Disappointment can come, uncertainty can follow. Friends, sometimes even family can let us down. Promises made are not kept. But we can say that God keeps his promises because God is a God who is faithful to his children. And I know perhaps you might be feel disappointed. Life perhaps has not been easy for you. Perhaps you have experienced disappointment because promises have not been kept. Well, let me tell you one thing, that Jesus will keep his promise to be with you. When he met his disciples in that upper room, he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. That's the promise of eternal life that we have when we believe in Christ. And of course, Jesus said, I will be with you even to the end of the age. And so this Christmas time, we trust the one who keeps his promises Jesus fulfills all that we need. Jesus is the one who we can rely on. And when he promised to be with us, and when he promises to comfort us, and in the power of his spirit to be with us, then we can be sure that promise will be fulfilled. The little town of Bethlehem was in God's promise. A promise of prophecy fulfilled. A promise of love to the lost and the needy. The promise that this Christmas you can know, that when you trust in him, you can stand, as the old hymn says, on the promises of God, 
and know that he will keep those promises and will be with you to ever, forever. So, dear friends, let's come to Bethlehem this Christmas and see all the wonderful promises of God wonderfully fulfilled. May God bless you at this time. And now, Mr. Bell, you're going to play us out. Thank you, Martin. Good night, everyone, and God bless.